the Delta is an origin server, and what it does is, if you look at this graph down here, it's as, a, it, as I mentioned earlier, you have the player on the right. Uh, we, we are sending the, the uh, files, the encoded files, in a live scenario to the Delta. The player clicks on that link. The Elemental Delta says, you're a so-and-so player, I'm going to send you this stream. And the Delta is the one making the smart decisions. All right, I've got all these streams coming from the live. How do you want me to deliver them to you? It's called just-in-time packaging. We'll wrap those on the fly to the appropriate, to deliver to the appropriate device. Some of the other things that Delta can do, in PVR, so scrubbing through the video. If you're watching a live video, I can do catch up. I can scroll all the way back to the beginning and start from the beginning. Here's where the Delta is. It's in between the encoders and the devices. So in our encoders, we're sending this uh, set of streams at different bit rates, right? This is your ABR. We're sending it uh, from a five meg down to a 600 kilobit stream. We're sending AAC and Dolby Digital. All of these are going to the Delta. They're just being forced into the Delta, right? So the Delta says, all right, I've got five streams. Now I have the capability to deliver them to any device. I can create rules in the Delta that says, if this type of device hits, this is what I want to deliver it. If this type of device clicks on me or wants video, this is what I want to deliver. A set-top box or a connected TV want to watch something. The Delta is going to say, ah, oh, that's a Samsung TV. I'm going to deliver it a 1080p stream at the maximum 5 meg that I have. Uh, and I'm going to include a, a uh, C stereo along with Dolby Digital because a, a set-top box and a connected TV can play Dolby Digital. Now, what it will deliver it is HLS plus Play Ready, the DRM. And it's going to send those four videos, the two audios, and because this is connected TV, it's going to chop it up in two second segments. So it's going to be uh, constantly looking for the best bit rate. It's going to constantly be checking. So because you've got really good throughput. Now, when we go to a PC or Mac, I'm going to still send it the 1080p at five, but I'm not going to send it to Dolby Digital because your laptop isn't Dolby Digital capable. And I'm going to send it HDS or flash and it's gonna have their access DRM. Uh, so it is doing all this real time, just-in-time packaging for all these different devices. Uh, the same with Android and iOS. It's gonna send it with HLS Play Ready. It's not gonna send it to 1080p because you can't tell the difference between 720 and 1080 on a phone. It's not gonna send it Dolby Digital uh, because your phone isn't capable of decoding that. Uh, and it's going to be 10 second segments instead of two seconds so that your phone is not constantly on 3G or 4G using up all your data, etc. Now all these guys can talk to the Delta, meaning that let's say for protection you can use Widevine. We've got those cap capabilities. They know how to talk to Delta. They use our API that we present. And so we use Microsoft Play Ready. Any of these DRM providers uh, we can use uh, ad insertion. Uh, so Delta supports ad insertion. We can, when our live encodes, we can take a, a SCSI 104 and convert it to a SCSI 35. And so we don't lose the ad insertion points. And then on the Delta can then, uh, with different ad insertion tools, uh, put those ads in, add replacements, uh, blank out those ads if we want to. These are just some of the storage provided. We really don't care whose storage you connect us to, uh, if it speaks NFS or SIFS or you know any any uh, even uh, Quantum StoreNX file system, uh, we will speak to. There's you know a, a bunch of different uh, middleware providers that they, they will create a web page. They'll create, they, you know, they do the whole thing where they know all, the, it's kind of asset management too. They know where all the assets live, what format they're in. Uh, it's kind of the big system behind the scenes that makes all of these systems work. And anybody can write to our Delta. So it's really, if, if they'll write to our Delta's API, they can, uh, they can use it in their workflows.